A player that the Bulls got in a trade, he was kind of looked at as filler as Javante Green. And while Javante played a big role for the Chicago Bulls uh, a couple of seasons ago, this past season, he just could not stay healthy and stay on the court for the Chicago Bulls. But I'm going to talk about why the Bulls may look to bring Javante Green back at the vet minimum. We're going to get to all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central. Your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. What's going on, Bulls fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. And if you want to follow the show, you can do so at Bulls Central Pod on every social media platform that we happen to be on. But let's get into it. As you guys know, during the offseason, we've been doing one show during the day and another show during the night during the weekdays and that being said and you know the ones during the night are kind of a little bit more free-flowing just kind of thoughts that are going on in my head and I want to bring up this one and that's Javante Green right especially now I won't lie some of this is brought about when the fact of kind of looking at how you know Dale and Terry while you know showing some flashes may not be ready to get a role for the Chicago Bulls yet now I want to say this and be clear here before anything else I would much rather the Chicago Bulls let Dale and Terry take his bumps bruises his mistakes and figure it out and learn to be and how to contribute for the for the Bulls next season, right? I especially think when you look at we're not going to look at a bunch of scoring for him. I do think that Daylon Terry can absolutely give the defensive side that we need from him consistently and maybe let that playmaking and stuff come out a little bit more from him over the over the course of the season. But with that said, considering where the Chicago Bulls are right now, we still sit roughly about eight, nine million dollars under the luxury tax with a $10 million disabled player exception, we hope, being approved sooner rather than later, right? We, we understand that. And so ultimately, the way that I look at it is this, right? You can, can the Chicago Bulls or should the Chicago Bulls look to potentially bring Javante Green back at the veteran minimum? And that's if, and maybe a little bit more than the vet minimum, right? And the reason why I say that is this. It's clear that Javante Green probably does not have a... A, a, a market right and that's something that we're seeing um and it's unfortunate for a player that you know has played a, a pretty nice role for the Chicago Bulls over the last you know season and a half yes he had a, a injury that really hurt him last season and you know that absolutely plays into things as well but when you look at the the impact that Javante Green has when he is healthy how how much he can be that role player for the Chicago Bulls how much he can you know be the kind of the thing that comes in and really t- changes the pace of the game for the Bulls at certain times, I want to be clear in this. I'm not by any means saying that Javante Green is this huge difference maker that really changes the Bulls' complete outlook heading into the season. Not saying that at all. But I am saying this, is that the Bulls do do have a role that Javante could fill. Now, that absolutely could also be filled by Dalen Terry 100%. But when you look at Javante, he's been playing out of position for his whole time here, getting a role with the Chicago Bulls. He just has been, right? And so because of that, and how we look at this is that if the Bulls, even as insurance for Daylon Terry, and that's probably maybe a better way to present this, should Javante Green be bought, bre- bought back for insurance that Daylon Terry just is not ready to go? The fact of the matter is we brought in Torrey Craig, who's going to be able to play those back up four minutes. Now you can naturally move Javante more back to his position of being a wing, right? Whether that be playing the two, whether that be playing the three, they're kind of interchangeable nowadays. Yes, Javante Javante Green brings his own issues with shooting, right? And you cannot overlook that at all. He's not the greatest shooter in any stretch of the imagination. But you know what Javante Green does do excellently? That is play defense. When you look at Javante Green last season, right, he had a defensive rating of 108.9. That was second best on the team overall only second to Andre Drummond, who had a defensive rating of 103. Keep in mind, defensive ratings, the lower number is the better number. Javante Green had that type of impact. Defensive versatility rating, he rakes at in the 92nd percentile as far as defensive versatility, meaning that Javante Green guards multiple positions extremely well. And when you look at role players in the NBA, that's what you need them to do, right? And yes, Javante's shooting does have its own issues. I do not want to overlook that Javante Green has had some issues hitting that corner three. But you know what we don't have to worry about Javante Green doing? It's backing down, right? We don't have to worry about him 
you know, defensively, you don't have to worry about him making the right play. Javante Green is, is going to take the open shots that come to him naturally. He's not going to back down from that. Hasn't really, and yes, Javante Green last season averaging 5.2 points per game in the season prior where he started 45 games for the Chicago Bulls, only averaged 7.2 points per game. But he's been a 56% field goal shooter for the Chicago Bulls over his career and averaged out as a 36% three-point shooter albeit only taking one and a half three-pointers per game. I look at Javante Green and I say you can do a lot worse as a role player at the NBA level. And considering the Chicago Bulls need depth, right, and they may need cheap depth on top of that, I think Javante Green could come back. Now, the bigger question that you want to ask about Javante, how serious is that injury? Javante Green never came back for the Chicago Bulls last season. Even after he was cleared, he did, did not play. And that may be why Javante Green is still sitting out on the free agent market. But if the Bulls, who are going to know his medicals better than anyone else, could see that and look and think, hey, if we need Javante in a pinch, whether it be through injury, whether it be through Dalen Terry not being ready or having a matchup that he's just not prepared or equipped for, the Bulls can do a lot worse than Javante Green. And I do think that Javante Green could be gotten for considerably less than the other players out on the market, considering. How far we are in a free agency. So I'm going to throw this question to you guys. When it comes to Javante Green as a low-cost option for the Chicago Bulls to fill out that bench, keep in mind, we still got about two open roster spots that we may need to fill, right? Now, that could be a little bit less depending on what happens with Io, depending on the Bulls decide to go ahead and keep Carly Jones. But should the Bulls potentially look for Javante, who can fill two, three, maybe even, well, probably just two or three positions for the Chicago Bulls, should the Bulls look to maintain and, and retain, I should say, Javante Green. Let me know what you guys think on all that down below. Make sure you're following the show at Bull Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, bullcentralpod at gmail.com. Lastly, you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys and like I like to end every episode on. Go Bulls. Love you guys. See right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.